husband is cutting up cabbage and Stormy decided he wanted to try some or maybe some of the peas or maybe he'll come over here and just help himself to whatever's available. Who knew that he'd like cabbage? <laughs> he doesn't like sprouts though. We tried that. He didn't care for the sprouts. Yeah. But he likes cabbage. Okay, I thought I would show you my little banding prep situation here. I use a little mineral oil to help slide the bands on. I use this little buttercup with some tissues in it to carry the babies over in so that they're safer. And because it's easy to get confused, I've separated the bands. Now, I, I've been, originally I had four bands in each one of these lids, but some of them have been put on. And you can see I've named the lids with so that the, the bands stay consecutive. One, two, three, four is Blossom, five, six, seven, eight is um, rosy and 9, 10, 11, 12 is for peaches. And it just helps me keep track, makes it simpler when I sit down with the birds and if I get distracted, there's my information right there in front of me. So I just thought I'd pass that along. Usually I have more than three hens. Um, right now, for some reason, I have three other hens that uh, haven't done anything yet, but these three are very active and have healthy babies. I'm going to band a baby bird. This is a little, probably a Lutino Bork because of the red eyes. She's got, gonna have a little color here, so I'm sure she'll be a Lutino. She's out of blossom, and she's the last of Blossom's babies that I will be banding. And I'm very eager to get all the bands on everybody and be done with the whole process. Yeah, come on. Um, remarkably, this little girl is 11 days old. And usually I suggest for a Bork parakeet that you band them at nine days of age. The books, other books will tell you seven to nine days. But, She's a little older than usual. Okay, let's get all three toes in there. You're just wiggling on me. Get that little one in there. Okay, I think we got all three. Always make sure you have all three toes in there so that you don't hurt her when you push it back. Okay, all right. I know. There we go. Three toes through. Now we're gonna get the fourth one. Different kinds of birds have different shaped feet. For instance, on a finch, the smallest toe is on the outside, but on the little hook bills like this one, they're on the inside. So the shortest toe, it has to be pulled through like with a toothpick. There, we're all done. There we are, we're all done. Look how full you are. Yeah, if anybody's hand feeding, please take note that parents stuff their babies full. This one isn't even as full as usual, but they really do feed them a lot, and hand feeding birds need to be fed a lot as well. And this little pretty one will be beautiful someday. Hello again. I'm going to band Peach's youngest baby, and here he is. He's gonna be a normal like his father, Stormy, you can tell that because of these dark feet. So I brought his sister, who is a Lutino, to show you the difference. You can see her feet are very light, and she got banded a couple of days ago. And Daddy, Stormy Bird, is here watching. You gonna watch me band your youngest? Probably your son. Yeah, works. Their color is sex related and so odds are this one is a male because through Stormy's, actually through Stormy's mother who was a normal like him. And the Lutinos or Rubinos are usually female through his father who was a Lutino. Okay, because they're usually the opposite of their sex. The, well, long, you have to read my book to <laughs> See me explain that. 
Okay, always make sure you get all three toes through. And this littlest toe, we're going to pull through right here with a toothpick. There. And now this is banded baby number 12. And he will stay banded. That's not going to come off. And over here on my arm, come here, Storm. Come here. Oh, now he's on my head. <laughs> and now he's on the cameraman. Anyhow, this little one is all ready. He's the very last one of all of our 12 babies. And I will go put them back with their mother. Come here, Stormy. Oh, Stormy, I'm trying to take a picture of your kids. They're nice, safely back with mom. All four babies. Three red-eyed Latino or Rubino babies. And the little dark-eyed one that will probably be a normal, like their dad, Stormy. And Peaches, of course, as I've said before, is an opaline fellow with white face and red eyes. Okay, have a wonderful rest of the day, everybody. Bye-bye.